How's it going, party people? This is Dr. White. Today we're going to be going through some problems involving stoichiometry. And uh, I call these level two problems because um, they're really one step above the mole problems that we were doing in the last worksheet. And these problems, we're actually going to be dealing with um, what chemists actually weigh out, which is uh, substances in grams. So these are these are kind of more what a typical chemist would deal with when the chemist the chemist is in the laboratory, um, and that's why you need to know it. Need to know how to do it as students. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, I've got kind of the general steps that you should follow up here in this region. Oh, I've got it on the white ink up in this region here. Okay, so you can kind of check that. Um, but I'll take you through the problems, uh, each one by itself. Okay, so uh, remember, we're, we usually take word equations and we turn them into chemical equations first. Okay, so uh, using the Hoffman app apparatus for electrolysis, a chemist decomposes 36 grams of water into its gaseous elements. How many grams of hydrogen should she get? Okay, so um, let's set up the balanced chemical equation first. Okay, we're talking about water. And we're going to be decomposing water to H2 and O2. Remember, those are diatomics. Let's go ahead and balance that. I'm going to do my oxygens first. One oxygen here, two over here. Let's put a two here. Four hydrogens. I'm going to put a two here. Now we're dealing with... Um, four hydrogens on each side, okay? Now, we're going to fill in our BCA chart, okay? And BCA chart is just a way of keeping track of how many reactants we have, how many react, how many products are they going to make. The key to the BCA chart is that you fill it in in moles. You can only put moles into the BCA chart. You cannot put grams. In order to fill in our BCA chart for this one, we're going to have to find the moles and get it away from 36 grams of water. So the question is, how many moles of water is that? Well, we know how to find moles from grams. We use the molar mass in the periodic table. So for water, okay, let's kind of just add up the molar mass of water. Okay, water's got two H's and an O. Okay, now if you look it up, H is 1.0, the second H is 1.0, oxygen is going to be 16.0. If you add those up, it's 18.0 grams per one mole. In other words, if you have one mole of ox, one mole of water, H2O, you're, it's going to weigh 18 grams. We have 36 grams. Okay, so how many moles is that? Well, let's go ahead and set up our um, our ratios. So, 18 grams per one mole. We've got 36 grams. How many moles would that be? Well, if you work that out, you're going to find that we've got two moles of water. Now we have something to put into our BCA table. We've got, we're starting with two moles of water, okay? And then before the reaction starts, we've got zero moles of H2 and zero moles of O2, okay? Now, if we completely react that, we're going to get rid of those two moles, right? Because they're going to turn into products, and in the end, we're going to have zero H2O. The question is, how many grams of hydrogen gas? We don't know how much hydrogen gas we're going to make. Let's figure this out. Well. Let's use the ratios. If two moles of water makes two moles of hydrogen gas, if I have two moles, I'm going to make how many moles of hydrogen gas? Well, it's just if it's two to two here, then it's got to be two to two here. Two moles. Remember, these are moles. The question is asking for how many grams of hydrogen gas. So we've got to turn this into 
to figure this one out, we've got to actually turn moles of hydrogen into grams of hydrogen. So let's do that. We know that hydrogen is 1.0. Remember, we're talking about H2 here. We're going to the periodic table. If we add this up, we've got 2 grams per mole. Okay? So if I've got two, uh, one mole of hydrogen, I've got 2 grams. Well, I've got 2 moles here. So how many grams is this going to be? Well, you could probably do it in your head. The answer is 4 grams of hydrogen. Okay? So 4 grams is your answer. Okay, let's move on to number 2. Okay, here's our word equation. Okay, liquid sodium reacts with chlorine gas to produce sodium chloride. Let's go ahead and write down our equation. And then we're going to fill in our BCA chart here, before change and after. Equation, liquid sodium, okay, reacts with chlorine gas. And that's going to make Na. CL, that's sodium chloride. Remember when you when you write these down, always double check your charges. Make sure you've got the right ratio. If you don't have the right ratio, it's going to be hard to balance them afterwards. So sodium's plus one, chloride's minus one. They offset. We've got uh, the right uh, formula here. Let's balance it. Two chlorines. I've only got one here. I got to put a two there. Hence, I've got to put a two here. Now I'm balanced. Okay. Now what's the, what do they want? You want to produce fifty eight. 581 grams of sodium chloride. How many grams of sodium are needed? So we have, we want to produce 581 grams of sodium chloride. So after the reaction, we don't, we, we need to figure out how many grams of uh, sodium chloride. Now, they give us the grams. We need to turn these into moles before we can put it into the periodic table, into the periodic table, the uh, BCA chart. So let's figure that out. Sodium chloride is sodium and chlorine. Sodium is 23. Chlorine is 35.5. Fifty-eight point five, okay, grams per mole. If I've got five hundred eighty-one grams of sodium chloride that I am producing, how many moles of sodium chloride is that? Well, let's go ahead and set up our ratio. Fifty-eight point five grams of sodium chloride per one mole. If I've got 581 grams, how many moles is that? Well, if you do the math, you'll figure out that it's about 10 moles. So 581 grams of sodium chloride is 10 moles of sodium chloride. That's what I'm going to put into my BCA chart. Okay, So I'm going to make 10 moles of sodium chloride. But the question is asking about how many grams of sodium. So how many grams of sodium am I starting out with? Well, I can't figure out the, gra the grams directly, but I can figure out the moles from my BCA chart. Okay, let's just use the ratio. If I have 10 moles of sodium chloride and 2 moles of sodium chloride of sodium makes 2 moles of sodium chloride, then the ratio is just 1 to 1. I've got to react 10 moles of sodium. So I started out with 10 moles over here. And then at the end, I'm going to have zero. But 10 moles of sodium, the question asks, how many grams of sodium? To figure that out, I've actually got to use 
the molar mass again. So if sodium is 23 grams per one mole, and I've got 10 moles, how many grams of sodium is that going to be? Well, you could probably do the math. That's 230 grams of sodium. And that's what my answer is going to be. 230 grams. Now, how did I do that? I had to go from grams of sodium chloride. Let's write this down because I think it's important. I went from grams of sodium chloride to moles of sodium chloride. The moles of sodium chloride, I used my BCA chart and my molar ratio to figure out moles of Na. And then I went to grams of Na. So this is kind of the general route that you follow with these problems. Okay, let's see if we can apply it to the third one here. Okay. Uh, you eat 180 grams of glucose, right? Glucose is sugar, okay? They give you the formula here, so it's C6H12O6 reacts with oxygen gas to produce, like any good combustion reaction, will produce CO2 and water, okay? Let's go ahead and balance this. Um, six C's, I've got one C here, I've got to put a six there. Let's do H's next, 12 H's. Okay, I've got to put a six here to get 12, 12 H's on the right. Now let's do oxygen. Six times two, that's 12. Six times one, that's six. So six plus 12, I've got 18 oxygens on the right hand side. I've got six already from my glucose, so I need 12 more. That means I have to put a six here for oxygen, okay? Now, let's fill in our B, C, A table, okay? Now, how many grams of oxygen will you need to breathe in to burn the glucose? So we need to find oxygen. What we have is glucose, but remember, we have 180 grams of glucose, but we, we have to put moles in our BCA chart. So let's figure out how let's figure out how many moles 180 grams of glucose is. So let's do um, we're gonna have to tally this up, right? Six carbons. Well, carbon is 12, so six times 12 is 72 grams per mole. This I'm getting this from the periodic table, by the way. I've got 12 H's. Okay, remember each H is 1. Okay, so 12 times 1 is 12. And then I've got 6 oxygens. 6 times 16, right? 16 from the periodic table. 96 here. Okay, if we add all this up, we get to 72. Zero, zero, they're going to make this easy on us, 180 grams per mole. So sugar is, if you have one mole of sugar, that's 180 grams right there. Well, guess what? We have 180 grams of sugar. That is equal to one mole. So we have one mole of sugar, okay? If we're going to react it, we're going to take away that mole, and at the end, we're going to have zero moles. But the question is, how many moles of oxygen? Well, look at your ratio. If in my recipe, my chemical equation, one mole of sugar reacts with six moles of oxygen, if I have one mole to begin with, guess how many oxygens I'm going to need? How many moles of oxygen? I'm going to need six. I'm just getting that from the molar ratio from the equation. But they don't want moles of oxygen. They, they want how many grams of oxygen? Well we gotta turn mole we gotta turn moles of oxygen into grams of oxygen. Well we know how to do that, you gotta go to your periodic table. 
So oxygen is 16. So uh, the molar mass of O2 is 32 grams per one mole. We got to set up our ratio. If I have six moles, how many grams is that going to be? Well, x is going to be equal to 6 times 32. That's a 196 grams. Okay. So I'm not going to do number four because number four has to do with uh, percent yield. We haven't learned that yet. But hopefully you're seeing a pattern, okay? Balanced chemical equation. Take grams of what you know and turn it into moles. Use your chemical equation to figure out the moles of whatever it's asking about and then turn the moles back into grams. So it's grams to moles to moles to grams. Okay, thanks a lot.